Welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. Okay. The Korok hunt continues. Before starting up, doing a little more planning around the area. Um, I just kind of started stamping stuff around Lanera a bit more. Including a little bit of uh, the northern area. And, uh, yeah. I noticed one other detail that I'm probably just gonna... Yep. Islands! I noticed, huh. I might have to take a walk along the coast, but, like, you know, there's stuff here. Oh, here too? What's that? There as well. And then, if I continue along the coast... Yeah, here. Like, there's, there's an island here. There's another, there's another one over here. Death count? Oh yeah, right. Hang on. Uh, the one at the Shrine of Resurrection, I did get that one. Yes. That, and... There we go. I, uh, yeah, I mean, here's another one as well, right? Like... It all... It's almost worth going across. I guess the exception is here? Like here we're okay. There are only three inside the castle. Here's the problem. I don't know which one's inside and which one's outside. All I have is this and Okay, let me think. Inside, there was the one... There was the one where I had to get the egg. There was the one where I had to... Hang on, egg? There was a boil an egg. Then there was another one, like, right, right at the docks thing here. So that's two. What's the third one? Yeah, that's the elevator shaft. That's the one that I'm talking about. The one, it's like, that's, that's about there. It's one of these two. So those, those, but what's the third one? I mean, I was always going to go back to Hyrule Castle. Like, as, as a desperation thing. So, you know what, just leave it. It's fine. Um, let's just. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around Lanayru. Hang on. I'm trying to think what the best one, because I want to go along the beach here as well. So, without making this too tedious, because we want to head further north. Okay, you know what? I'll do the mountain ranges, and then I'll come back. No, I'm just doing the beach thing now. I'll do the beach thing now. I'll go along. It's alright, I'll figure it out. Like, I don't want answers to where they are. I want to try and find them on my own, but... I just had a suspicion I would have to go back to Hyrule Castle anyway. Just, I have a feeling. I'm just gonna go for a walk along the beach, I think, first, and then I'll work from there. You know what? There was one indoors that I assumed was just outside. Because I couldn't find it. And then I found one outside. 
So, it's possible. I'm not saying it is, but it's possible one of those was that. Hmm. I'm trying to think where it was. I won't worry about Hyrule Castle yet, because it's kind of a, a pain in the ass to take a trip there. And if I'm going there, I, I guess I would have to go to... ...to the Akala Lab and get more Ancient Arrows, just to make the process less annoying, so... I'll leave it as a last resort. For now, I'm just, I'm just going to assume everything's fine. And then if after this set of, you know, exploration it's not found, then I can go take a trip into the castle again. It's, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Solve all gems and ended up with over 50k. What are you going to do with it? Aside from those, like, 10k for the fairy, which I still need. I mean, I could get the 10k easily from all that meat I have, but I don't know. Bought all of the pictures. Oh, yeah, the picture thing. I forgot about the pictures. I've been taking them. You can't even buy them all? Which ones can't you buy? Some of the bosses, I would imagine. The DLC ones. Yeah, that makes sense. See, I was not, I was not really, uh, yeah, I didn't really explore this area well. I was trying to make a sentence and I was being distracted by, like, almost needing to sneeze. <laughs> but, yeah, not as, uh, thorough here. I mean, I, I do remember Lanary just being horrible. Okay. I mean, I'll do that when I do the mountain climb. This is gonna. This is going to be slow today because I think. I mean, now that I'm down to twelve, it's just the odds of me finding them are. Yeah, it's just going to shrink as we go. You got all the shrines. Did all but the champion's battle trial sold 500 Colox. Just to be told, you have 62% of the game done. Talk about inflating the value of the game. <laughs> they really should have just made the Korok thing a hat or something. I don't know. It's just... Yeah. 
Yeah, that reminds me. Champion's Ballad. Right. I forgot about that. That's something else I have to do. I really don't have that much time left. I'm going to try and clear this out, just for the quest. The start of the Gerudo one, just three forces of Thunderblight with no bow, meaning he just constantly heals. <laughs> uh. But you just... Yeah, I mean, let's just deal with it. <laughs> what, you don't, you don't like torture? Okay, <laughs> the way to deal with this. Ocean actually okay. The ocean starts here. <laughs> this is so good. They can't do anything. All they can do is throw rocks at me. The Moblin's a bit trickier to deal with. That's the biggest threat, Dumb. <laughs> this is how you win fight with minimal weapons. Happy about this, but shit. Just have to keep trying, just gotta be patient. Oh, 
There we go. <laughs> so dumb. Archer now. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Okay, last one. Yeah, Spear is definitely the scariest weapon in this. Yep. By a long shot. There we go. Dead. <laughs> I mean, just to get rid of this quest. Wards aren't bad either. Yeah, I'm gonna get the, the spear, I think. Just drop it. What was it saying that I can't carry any more of those? Can't carry any more of what? Oh, the bows. Okay. Alright. So what's the what's the big reward? That. That is the reward for clearing that camp. Get weapons. So you have to use high value weapons to get weapons worth less than 20. And then you get one, one gem as your reward. Anyway. It's fine. Uh, I guess I should go turn this in and then do the thing I was going to do. See what they do to combat in tears. Curious what they'll do for rewards. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping they do something. A lot of this game systems, they just kind of come down to like, don't do it or Oh no, the 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 cool com complexity. Don't don't bother. It's not the most efficient way. Like tech cooking, for example, you could make the recipes. You could, but more often than not, the better recipe is just stacking the one ingredient or just going two ingredients, like stuff that doesn't make anything necessarily.
Hmm. Forgot who it was the farmer, I think. That gave me this quest in the first place. It's just been that long. Still don't have a traveler's sword for that kid. Probably won't happen. That kid sucks, though, because wants to see exotic weapons. I think most of the rewards in this game suck. When it comes down to quests, they're just not as significant. Okay. So, that's, you know what? That is a reward, though, where I'm like, that makes sense. That, from a lore perspective, what the person is... It's probably the most, the most crafted quest I've seen in this game. A farmer asking for your help. Can't reward you with much. Just be, have some milk that'll be useful in your cooking. That's a good quest. The reward might not be the most massive thing, but, you know, it stands out amongst the other ones where it's like, oh yes, have some money. Oh yes, have a, have a gem. Have money, have a gem, have money, have have money, have money, have more money. It's just... It's the same thing. Okay, uh... Yeah, so I'm gonna go along the coast to these islands... ...or small formations that I saw that... I will... I think there's, there's, prob there's probably one along one of those. I just wouldn't be surprised. What I do love is the towns feel good. In Ocarina, in, in, you remember in Ocarina, wishing places like Goron Sea or whatever, it was more like it was lived in. Yeah, I mean, the world is great for this. That's the thing. I think if this game did not have so much attention to the detail on the world... It wouldn't, it would be, like, very mediocre. I, well, I've been up there, so it's, that's not where I'm looking. Um, yeah, there's one coming up ahead. Merry Star Wars Day, Star Wars Day. Oh, 4th of May, right, yeah, yeah. Confused there for a sec. are kind of cute. No. <laughs> They're like baseball with wings. So baseball is cute. How many Koroks do I have? 888. 888. So this is, this is at a point now where... It's... There might be an hour. And I find nothing. It's just... The likelihood of finding stuff is starting to dwindle.
that's surprising. What do you mean? Like, surprising that I've found that many, or surprising that I'm I haven't found more? Yeah, control drift. Yes. That I have that many left. How many did you think I had left? There's only twelve left. It's not that many. I forgot it's 900. You thought it was 999. No, it's, it's only 900. There's only 12 left. If I had about a, a hundred remaining, I would have given up at this point. There's not that much time left until the game releases. There's other stuff to do. for me to walk around or is it quicker to say just I'm not touching my controller right now not a widespread issue they make perfect controllers no widespread issues here tired of these things. Did I get the one north of the cliff wall of Cape Chaos? I don't know where that is. I'm bad with names, so... Unless it's something where I've seen the name pop up a lot in Zelda games. I won't know it. I'm at it. That one? These ones- these ones are, go are going to be spots where there's gaps in the map. Like, it, that's what it's been so far. If I stick to this process, I'm sure I'll- I'll get through it. Honestly, I- I imagine most of these are going to be on the Linero Mountain. It's just I didn't do that that area thoroughly because it was a pain. Should be able to just find them without needing to look anything up. Oops. There were a couple yesterday that I was just really surprised at. Just that the fact that I missed them.
We'll see. We'll see how we go tonight. I'm hoping I can get close to being done, and then only need to deal with this tomorrow, and then just through the weekend do what I need to do with the divine beasts and whatnot. That's that's what I'm hoping for. Shit, I had a bow. The thing that sucks about this is the autosave is probably going to put me back quite a while. Ah, uh, style creatures. Where am I? Where is here? Oh yeah, no. That's, that's good. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, game. Player just spent traversing. Death count plus one. I did. It was three and nine before this. Fast because it's still my active window because I had to enable it. I didn't have to tab to it or something. I suppose this could have been worse. No, oh, I wanted the fish. I wanted the fish. It's okay. What I find interesting is... There are schools of fish in the ocean, just... There are spots that are pretty out there, and yet they have... <laughs> you wanted the game will save only if you're on flat ground, but I was, I walked through here. Like, I, I came through this. Apparently schools of fish mean treasure, huh. Though I think there was a treasure chest there, but it's just... Like, I marked it. It was here. There was a lot of fish. A lot. Yay! Style creatures, because the player has to be challenged and harassed. Heaven forbid the player goes more than five minutes. That's a side quest. What side quest is that? I don't think I've gotten it. I thought the side quest to get the chest was this one. Where is it? There's like a, a triangle shape. Yeah. I thought the side quest was this one. It wasn't a side quest, it was like on the way to Eventide. Like, it was- it was random. You will be right eventually. Yeah! Well, I mean... If my watch was broken right now and it said 7.35pm, it would be correct. Uh-oh. 
How do you find those things cute that they're not intended to be cute? That's what I want to know. Especially the electric ones. The round body. What about the noises they make? Do I need to go through this? Let's see. Is there... I, that's an enemy base. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about these. Okay, it's a little further along. Wouldn't the noise throw you off? What about the- alright, what about the Cyclops eye? And the fact that it glows red. They look like Pokemon. How do their organs work? It's like the, the eye is forming the majority of their body. That's what you wonder about the appliance Pokemon. I think the lore behind most of those is it's a spirit that inhabits the body of it or something like that. Or I guess, lol, it's a fairy. That's how they explain it. But then the ones that are literal cogs, I don't know what to say about those, those, one, those ones. Or well, the ones that are keys. It's the pair of keys. And with a body made of plasma, it can inhabit all sorts of machines. It loves to surprise others. Yeah, sure. The ones that I'm thinking of that just seem... They're cogs. They are cogs. But I suppose Magnemite is a magnet, but at least it has... It looks like it has a body. It's a little more creative than just a magnet, but... It's not cogs, it's just... Okay, so these are like little... Little island things that I need to go look at. I still think 
Pokemon designs kind of picked after the third generation. That's when they started getting a bit weird. The first three generation, they they felt within the spirit of uh, you know what was set out originally, and then beyond that, there's just Clink suspected inspiration behind people's invention of the first gears. Okay. <laughs> How do they differ from just gears? But, but that lore is just so... Just... <sighs> it's not like they looked at that thing and they're like, Hmm, yes, we should make those. And put them in our machines. Because the, isn't the first... Stupid. Isn't it a single cog and then it just ends up getting more cogs as it goes on? So when they see the single cog... You wouldn't know what to do with that on its own. There's no context. I know I'm overanalyzing a, what is effectively just a fantasy kids thing, but... Just that, I think the, the designs are some of the later ones. I don't know. I'm just not a fan. Gee, this wind sure is preventing me from doing it. Clink is a pair of cocks. Oh, maybe. I wasn't sure. My Pokemon knowledge starts getting a bit uh, fuzzy after, like, Gen 3. It's not to say that we're known good Pokemon after Gen 3. I mean, there's still ones that I think have decent designs later. But after Gen 3, that's when they really started getting experimental and just doing weird things. Dude, I just want to walk that way. Stop interpreting the input as, like, going that way. Okay, so the, there's a couple more coming up. All right. All right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to do about this controller other than, well, replace it. and it's Or it sticks. Let's just hope whatever generation comes next, they just go to Hall Effect. Watch them make it like a... You know, right now they don't want to acknowledge that it's an issue, but I bet you the moment the next console generation comes out, they'll make it a selling point. They'll make it sound like it's advanced technology that, you know, the sticks will last and not drift. Even though it's a problem they effectively created. I love how this thing can just harass you. I'm nowhere near it, and it's just artillery shots. <laughs> it's 
So I pressed the menu. So that wasn't me moving it from here to here. That was me pressing the menu button and then... Oh, nope, now, yep, nope, yep. Okay, I'm going to say when I stop moving the controller. Stop. 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 Now it's not doing it. <sighs> if you see me running and see Link suddenly turn around before I bring up the map screen, that's, yeah, that's the drift. Nothing else, this will resupply my defense food. Okay, I'm looking in that corner over there. Because a couple of the ones that I've missed is, is just because I had not walked straight to the corner. I had a look. Fucking with that. I that was a balloon, but I already got it. I mean, it's almost been an hour and I haven't found one. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's about right. <laughs> it's not going to be very exciting. many are close to big enemies it that's why i tend to just fly over them there's only been one that has been really obnoxious and that was in the gerudo desert where it was very much inside a enemy base but other than that i have not seen another one that has done that Assholes suck, they really do. Yep. 
Got them both. No, I got one. Okay. Particularly... I hate how they cluster them like this. It's, that's not the worst example of it. The worst one is there's an area where, for some reason, there's seven of them just all together. It, why would you? Why would they have that? It's just so annoying beyond all belief. Got jerks, I got jerks too, motherfucker. Can't get to me. Yeah, controller drift, thanks! Dude. Oh, this is really why is it bad today? I'm not walking, I'm not walking, when you, if you see me walking to the ocean, that is the controller drifting right now. Bait it, so. I just want to walk over there because it's a large area and it could be one of these situations where there's just a Korok behind these dudes. Because, of course. Ah, oh, piss off. No, the horse riders don't sleep either. And the worst part is you get them off, off their horse, and then if you walk away, they're just back on it. my protective wall. Okay. What? How did that one even hit me? My body was behind the ice. Look at how immediate look at how immediate it is as well. I hate to do that to the horse, but I got no choice. Nope. 
<sighs> that was beyond annoying. The gold ones usually drop gems. Oops. <laughs> Imagine if I had died there. Okay. Now let's just see. You never know. This is what I wanted to see over here. Wait, there's a... what is that? There is something over there. Before that starts becoming a problem. Looks like there's a sword over there. Uh, there's a bunch of lizards everywhere. I think it would have gone off if there was anything here. It makes it look like there's more stones here, but there aren't. Gah! Drift! <laughs> this is really deceiving. I fucking hate the lizard so much. The worst enemy in the game, I think. They can keep up with a horse. In terms of movement. And they just harass you in so many different ways. as well. I thought maybe that lone sword would be a Korok source. Was, that wasn't me slipping. That wasn't me slipping. That was the controller. That was the controller. Just deciding to go, oh! What's that? You're moving downwards? Allow me to move downwards. That's because that's the direction you are totally inputting now. It's not... A manufacturing defect that is in most Nintendo controllers. Certainly not a widespread issue.
Hello, Messiah. How's it going? How's how's your day going so far? So wait, am I done here? I mean, I guess I'll just follow this road up. It doesn't hurt. I haven't had any luck finding one yet, so... I just thought it might be worth checking these island things. Okay, I mean, the, I'll just walk along the beach. And then just turn in when it's time for... The mainland, because there's a stable in that direction. And then I'll just go back to Hatino, so... But at least I won't check along the coast now. Still alive, last day is pretty stressful. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that. Well, hope you can chill for a bit here. But yeah, I've yeah, I've been uh, busy this week with work, so well it's not stressful, still a lot going on. Looking forward to the end of the week. Dude, please. That little, that little shift. Just know that when I enter the map menu, I don't press anything. If you see the controller move. Like I'm, more, I'm stress testing it now, how bad it is. I might honestly have to get one of these replacement kits. Because I'm, I'm kind of tired of it. Like, sometimes the controller behaves itself. Sometimes it'll be a really long time and I won't experience this, but then... Out of nowhere, I'll just start doing it. Okay, I guess just run through the middle of this. I don't really believe there's anything here, so... Oh, there's already a Korok on the edge, so there's definitely nothing here. I hate these things. <laughs> How long was that? 30 seconds? I really don't care for those things at all. What? What? Where? The fuck? Didn't I get this one? No, see, the one I'm thinking... Because I remember this going off and then I climbed up to get it. So there's a second one here? Oh, leave me alone! I, ca I can't go five minutes. Where is it? Stops here. No, wait. Hang on. 
Go away. Oh, God. I hate, I hate these things so much. I wasn't even moving from area to area. This is the same area and I got harassed three times. And it put, it's now even better put me back here. Something that happened over five minutes ago. Is that a golden lizard? Sucks. I don't know why they should be allowed to spit. Whilst in the water. This is... this is good. Thanks, Nintendo. We're not thinking to save the game automatically after I be, I don't know, a guardian? Hmm, significant enemy was just defeated. Should we auto-save the game? Nah. die a hundred and one more times oh because that was your guess I mean it's possible I could die way more than that though I'm, I'm so sick of this shit. I'm gonna make a campfire and I'm gonna make it daytime because I don't I don't want to deal with this Like I'm that I'm that annoyed at just how often they appear It's not letting me explore. Yeah, no. Again. Okay, I'm, I'm making a campfire. This is just way too much harassment. Yep. 
Are you, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I haven't even finished fighting one set and it's already given me another. It's, it's just fucking with me now. What is happening? What is this? Oh my god! So angry at this. Yep. Just let me play the fucking game. I'm not- I'm sorry, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> Accidentally grabbed a ruby. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not dealing with it. I just want to find out where this Korok is, that's all. It's not- that's not too much to ask, alright? I'm just a man with simple... simple desires. Okay, where is this thing? that was stopped I have no idea what this is I mean didn't I climb for this or is this just one of these things where I did it and then it reset it or I maybe I thought I did it okay well whatever it is I guess climb stopped. Oh no, this is gonna be another one of these annoying ones. Okay, it's back.
Okay, I'm worried now. What? This might be why I never found it. Because I did come up here, but it's, it's not up here. Okay, this kind of explains it. So where is it then? Because I, I couldn't find it below, and I just thought, oh, it's probably above, so I'll go around and go above. But then I just never found it. this yeah controller drift yeah <laughs> I don't see anything Does anyone say something? Oh my god, I see it. I'm an idiot. It's simple. It just kind of blended in. Okay. Hooray! <laughs> One Korok in an hour and 20 minutes. Almost. So let's see, if each one is taking me an hour and 20 minutes, there's an 11 left. 11 hours. It might very well be that. Really, I really hope that's not what's going to happen. But I mean, okay, this resulted in something, just not what I expected. I thought maybe these three trees would be something. I just ran out of stamps, and then I was going to continue. But okay. Well, now we go back. stable is If I can get down to five remaining by the end of today, I'll be content. I think that I think that's a good goal. And then I will finish it tomorrow. Hopefully. And that'll leave the weekend to do the Divine Beasts and then wrap up anything I need to wrap up in four days. I think I'm gonna make it.
<laughs> you believe? Well, thank you. Otherwise, I might have to, over the weekend, pull some hours. Someone was telling me about a show that they recommended, and I looked up where it's on here in Australia, and unfortunately, uh, it's on a streaming service that I can't watch, but, um, it's called Barry. I've heard a few things from people about it. I mean, if I'm really desperate, I'll watch it through, like, a free trial or, some, or something. But yeah, I've heard Bill Hader is uh, really good in it. Who is Barry? It's a, it's a TV show. Um... Yeah, it's like, it's the story of a hitman moving to L.A. from the Midwest. And then, like, gets into the art scene. It's an HBO show. Supposedly Bill Hader's is really good on it. It's another one of those cases where it's it's a comedian who also has other talents other than comedy and is able to do stuff outside of comedy pretty well. has a pretty good score. What? Barry? I mean, I haven't really looked into it that much. It's just, I've had a few people recommend it to me, yeah. And usually when that happens, it's like, I should probably check it out. Particularly the people that have recommended it to me. They, they know my tastes, and uh, they've been pretty good in terms of track record with figuring out what I like, so... And it's not going to go forever. It's one of these shows where, you know, despite it doing well, or people saying it's good, it's going to end soon. Because they don't want to overstay their welcome, which I appreciate in shows. Instead of just going for like 12 seasons and then it's kind of like, oh, they're, they're, they're running out of material, slash rehashing, or it's gotten old. But yeah, unfortunately, it's on a streaming service that is owned by a company I do not want to support here in Australia because they're responsible for a lot of the problems we have here from a technology perspective and things being either not released or just delayed from being released so people pay for their cable service. It's that company that um, prevented Game of Thrones from releasing on DVD and any sort of digital distribution here in Australia. So, that company. Mm. 
I'm not even looking at the map right now because this is an area that is of no concern. That sounds awful. They're just... They're just a big media company and, you know, it's... It's, uh... Yeah, it's like a Murdoch company because... They own a lot of Australian media ownership here. They own the majority of the newspapers and the majority of media rights. So, it's kind of annoying. It sure is horrible that there isn't an alternative. It awfully is horrible that there is no alternative. That one could look into. If you want to watch content but not get price gouged. You'll probably start to watch Yellowstone, got some recommendations. That's another name that's been thrown out there as well. I've heard Yellowstone is decent as well. Monopolies always suck. Yep. Because they have no reason to compete. There's nothing really stopping them from doing whatever they want. It's like the irony of people that want the free market is they technically don't want the free market. Because a free market is a lot of competition. But their version of it is like, well no, let's just do whatever we can unchecked so then we end up with less competition. Anyway, that's the situation in Australia without going too far into it, but I've just, where possible, I just, I will avoid anything that uh, the cable company or streaming service puts out. It's just, it's a little bit of a stance that I take just because they lobbied to make sure that internet stayed crippled in Australia, whether they like to admit it or not. And for someone who works, uh, in, it's not really the IT industry, but I guess, you know, the tech space, let's call it, that's, that sucks. Just because they didn't want people to, uh, to get rid of cable as a service and go to, like, competitors on the internet to get their content. Gonna have to still still pay for our cable because you can't access YouTube or anything like that properly. This is uh this is scary. There's gold lizards now. We've gone up one more level in master mode. Ugh, I I don't want to fight you. It's getting worse and worse. Look look at the camps now. They're, they're more golden. I, I still haven't checked if there's a golden Lionel yet. There is one further along north where I'm going to check, so... I'll have a look if it's available, but... Yeah. It would appear enemies have gone up now. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to start starting new shows. Like I always say, oh yeah, I'll I'll watch it, and then it takes me ages for me to watch it.
The only time I'll commit to a show right away if, like, I'm watching it with someone, then it's like, okay, yeah, then, well, someone else is relying on me watching it, so I gotta watch it. But, like, take Game of Thrones. Outside of the, uh, the fact that it took forever, I did not watch that until a couple years ago, and the only reason I watched it was because a friend got me to watch it. Otherwise, I never would have started it. <laughs> it's just... Even though it's one of those shows that, man, so many people told me, you need to watch it. I just didn't. I mean, honestly, it was alright. I don't think they stuck the landing on that show, but it was overall good. Another show I want to see more of, uh... I'm not sure if we'll see more of it soon. But, uh, the rehearsal... The show that Nathan Fielder did. That show is fantastic if you haven't seen it. All of Nathan Fielder's shows are worth watching if you're into a dry sense of humor and just social awkwardness. Gotta get this on the way there. I feel like I've seen her every time, but I, I, I think that's an assassin. Just ever since the first one that I came across, I just haven't bothered talking to travelers anymore because I just feel like they're all out to murder me. It's a thing you fall for once. gone the wrong way, haven't I? Yeah, I have. <laughs> Every time I, I hear the TV show get brought up, Barry, I just think of... Ugh. If this was talked about in Australia, they, they might just shorten it to the nickname they usually give Barry, and I, I just hate that nickname. A lot of Australian nicknames, the way they short, shorten them, I, I'm just not a fan of. So, Barry would become Baza! I just, I hate that. Oh, okay. Oh. I don't understand how certain names are shortened. <laughs> some of them are just really nonsensical, and they're not even- some of them, they're not even shorter.
Oh. This is a first. Also, that was very, uh, sudden. The blood moon yeah, Sharon is... Shazza! There's a, there's a propensity to add Azza to the end of it. Just take the first two letters or the first letter, and then it's Azza! I need to make cold resist food. <laughs> How about Willy? Well, I mean... Will just doesn't get short and it's already pretty short. I think if the name is short enough, it just doesn't... I'm lucky. Well, I've heard Wilsta. That's something that I'd used to get as a... as a kid sometimes. Sometimes as an adult. But see, that that's a case of, well, you're not shortening my name. Like, the point of a nickname is for... It. Primarily, I mean, not all the time, is just to be less to say, no? Like, you're just making it longer. Australian names are... I don't know what to say, like... And sometimes it's not- they won't go with your first name, sometimes they'll go with your last name instead, but then give it the same treatment. Like, our Prime Minister is Anthony Albanese. And his nickname is Albo. Albo. Not Elbo. A-L-B-O. Hey, hey, Colin, how's it going? Morning. I was just talking about how stupid Australian nicknames are. Because I was talking about this TV show that, uh, Bill Hader is in that... I've heard quite a bit about, and it's called, uh, it's called Barry. And I just think the Australian nickname of Barry is Baza. Just bad, uh, Australian nicknames and how they, sometimes they're not even shorter, it's just, I don't know. Got us SEC. Oh, yeah, I know what that is. The, the, the breakfast thing. Um, have I seen everywhere, everywhere, all at once? I have not. Do I have a nickname? I mean, sometimes in school it would be Will, Will Star. But that's just because they couldn't come with an Australianism for it. It's just like, oh, so you're just going to make it longer then. Yeah. 
but you know, it was like STA. It was like STA or ZTA. That's how it used to be spelled, one way or the other. What about Wee Wee? That just sounds like you're trying to give me the name. Are you like is the is the point to give me a nickname that's basically like tiny penis or that I'm taking a piss? Like what? Why would I want that? I wouldn't let that fly. Wish I had a nickname. Do you want to know what your nickname would be if it was Australian? So, Laura or Lauren becomes Loz. Loz or Loza. I don't like. I hate it. Just, I hate Australian nicknames, they're just so annoying. That's what Aussies would be calling ya. Laza. Laz. Well, L-O-Z is how it would be spelt. L-O-Z or L-O-Z-Z-A. Which I know, I don't, I don't know, I can't explain how or why, that's just what it is. I've, uh... Known a few Lauras and Laurens, so I've heard that, I've heard it thrown out enough. Anyone, anyone else want to know their Australian nickname? <laughs> Uh, I don't think I'd be able to do all- I- like, this is just off my knowledge of... ...just how they work. Lorraine too. I haven't met a Lorraine, but you know what? It probably would share Loz. Yeah, most likely. I think nicknames are fun if the person embraces it, but if the person doesn't embrace it, they're just annoying. There is a nickname for pretty much every name there. It's not like that we have a, a set list, it's just, it's a thing that happens. It's just part of Australian culture is like, your Aussie friends will shorten your name, and you'll generally get a nickname. But yeah, most of the common names, there's already pretty well established, like, what they are. Lauren is one of them, and Laura. Just any anything like that, that's one of the ones that is fairly established. There are others where it's like, if they can't make a nickname out of your first name, they'll make a nickname out of your surname. So the example I just gave, the Prime Minister of our country is Anthony Albanese. And it's spelled L-A-L-B... Wait, B-A? Yeah, B-A-N-E-S-E. -E. So his nickname is Albo, A-L-B-O, which is just his surname shortened. So that's what that's what they, they've called him always, Albo. Even right now when he's in office, they just refer to him as Albo. Which is very much- it's very much like the Simpsons episode. Which- Australians love that episode just because it's- some parts are just pretty accurate. Particularly the part where they're just yelling at the Prime Minister just in his yard like as if he's no one. But yeah. I mean, you can adopt the nickname if you want. <laughs> Just be like, oh yeah, on, on my trip to Australia, they gave me the, this nickname. Just like come up with some lore for it.
Oh yeah, shit, I didn't even realize. I was just coming- I was just going up this mountain to go to this beach. I didn't click, I just found the Korok, I was just talking. Wait a minute! What? Okay, so I came from here. This was the Korok, but then this line was already here, so why didn't I run into it before? Well, I was just going to run along the shelf, but then I thought, no, nah, you know what, I'll go off the beach first, because this is most likely something. But then, I guess it didn't click, I was just playing the game. <laughs> I just didn't really- wait a minute, I found one. Yeah, those are shields, I put them there to mark my way. I just pointed out stuff on, on this mountain where I thought there would be one. How did I not find- that's two now that- There's ten left now. Right? Yeah, there's ten left. I found another one before that I, I don't know how I didn't find it. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. That one there, I'm perplexed. I don't understand how I didn't find that. This is- there's a Korok here. Alright. Nine left. So I was right about this beach. I kind of figured. <laughs> Love how anticlimactic that is. Yeah, let's see, other nicknames, um... Damien becomes Damo! Ugh. <laughs> uh. I'm just gonna have to smack this with this, that's fine. Well, not demon, but like demo. Okay, well, here's what sucks. I want to climb back up, but I can't. What's my favorite nickname from there? Ah, uh, I don't know if I have a favorite. It's just... I know some ones that are pretty egregious, just... It doesn't help at all. Like, I mean, Steve will... You get Steve-O from Steve. Which is just like, you're just adding an O to the end of it. It's not even shorter. <laughs> it's just so it has an O. Oh, 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 is this one, is this one, is this one? Oh, it's alright, I already got this one. Damn it. I need to climb back up. It makes sense. Yeah, this is one of these things that just doesn't make sense. Just 
Some things make sense, like breakfast becoming brekky. Tradesmen becoming... Trady. Or Brecky, B R E K K I E. Or K K Y, depends where you are. I just sound like I'm from another planet, don't I? Like, just. Some of these things. <laughs> Have our own slang there. Yeah, but some of it is fine, others is just, I don't understand it. Okay, uh, let's just go around this way first, since I'm here. There's an online quiz that's available that you can take on Australian slang. I'd sometimes bring it up. Fail. Oh no, most Americans fail. I just remember one stream where they were taking the test and uh, after the second question they were just frustrated how stupid the answers were. That one of the guys, his, his train of thought was out of all the options he would always pick the one that he thought sounded the most stupid. And he pretty much got almost all of the rest of them right, except one. So, yeah, I don't know what to say. I guess if you ever have, have a multiple choice answer when it comes to picking out what some Australian terminology means, just pick the dumbest answer. Alright. Another another one. To have uh, a break. Particularly a, a, a cigarette break. Some people do do that. But, you know, the, the term was coined smoko. So if, if you're going on a break. Particularly if you're in a, a job where you're a tradesman. Uh, yeah, you go on smoko. Ugh. There's, there's a song. There's a song that I, I wish I could play right now, but I can't because DMCA. But it's, uh, I think perfectly shows off what that concept is. You know, I'll link it. If you want to watch it, you can watch it. Okay. There we go. You hated the cigarette breaks, so I got asked to do a fresh air break. I mean, just a mental break should be allowed. It's just smoking shouldn't be a reason you got that break. Just having a moment to recollect your thoughts. Because sometimes when I'm working on stuff, and this is a nice flexibility of the job I have, plus 
I guess, the space that I work in is just... If there's a part where I just feel like, hmm, you know what, I'm hitting my head against a brick wall here creatively, I'm gonna be like, I'm getting up, I'm going for a walk, I'm going to go get a coffee somewhere, I just need to step away from this for like 10 to 15 minutes, and then when I come back, usually I have the answer to what I was trying to figure out, or trying to create. Sometimes you just need to step out of, uh, the problem for a little bit. Or even be like, you know, go out with someone and then just be like, man, I, I've been stumped on this thing. And even just having a conversation with someone whilst maybe it might not yield the answer helps you get out of your head for a bit. I really don't want to do- I really don't want to do... Uh, uh, fuck it. <laughs> what I did last time, which is just do laps around this mountain. Because the mountain, is, there's basically nothing here, with the exception of, like, a, a few areas. And I feel like after finding those two, I think I've, I've found them all now. But, in the interest of not assuming... Because I've been wrong a couple times already. I'm going to run around this mountain a couple times. Until it looks like, yes, you know what? That's that's a way better job than what I had done before. Well, the, with this mountain, I, I have a bit more certainty that it, at least on this side, I don't think there's anything. Like, because just because of the memory of the first time I did this, I was real. The two areas I was like, man, there is really nothing here compared to the rest of the map was this mountain and the desert. There's, there's nothing when you compare it to the rest of the map. So... I think the right-hand side, I think it's handled. Let me get rid of some of these markers. But as for here, I think here where I've got the blue one, and maybe somewhere at the top, and then going downwards, and that's all I need to do. But... I've, I've already found... I've, I'm already down to, uh... Ooh, crap. I'm already down to nine, so I've kind of achieved my goal. I, I wanted a couple out of here. Yes. Oh, shit. There's one. Okay. Down to eight. Oh, where is it? Shit. That's fine. Got plenty of time. Yeah, ha ha. Okay. Did I have a stat? Wow. I mean, almost pretty much on it. Um. So then, let me look at this. Yeah, so... Hold on, I need to align myself here. This way. Seven more yahahas until the new game. Wait, is it coming out on a Thursday for you? For me, it's on a Friday. But I guess that makes sense, because Australia's ahead. I guess that makes sense. If... 
<laughs> Nintendo was better with digital copies. And they weren't more expensive. It would make sense to do like a midnight launch here, but no. Oh, only seven more times of saying, ah, oh, I get it. I thought you meant like seven days, like replacing the word days with ya ha Like at the start of every day you begin with a ya ha ha That'd be a confusing way to wake up. Dreaming of Koroks. I wouldn't be surprised. You do something enough, your brain continues to do it when you go to sleep. Uh, where's my shield? Straight ahead could possibly be one. Don't Americans have, uh... Certain ways of nicknaming things? Like, isn't... There's, like, set conventions. Like, don't people who have the name William become Bill? And Gerald, uh, Jerry? Okay, so there. So, we're not so weird. I think it just sounds weird. Just the format we pick. Richard is dick. Yeah. We have that one here as well. Because we had a football player called Richard Turner. And his nickname was Dick. And because he used to throw in, in the games he played, they would call him Dick Tosser. So that was his full nickname when playing uh, football, Dick Tosser. And then when they, he retired, they decided to dedicate a sporting complex to him. And so it was called Dick Tosser Park. Wish I was making it up. William can be Bobby? What? Why? How? At least Bill it has the IL. Why Bobby? Oh, wow. Well. How does- how does William become Bobby? Because I thought Bobby is Robert. See that there's there's no connect at least with at least with the Australia at least with the Australian system, you can do you form a connection with the first part of the name somehow. Like it's not just completely arbitrary and random where there's no it shares absolutely no letter. Like, William and Bobby, they- there is no Venn diagram where the letters that they share over, overlap. They all have completely different letters in, the, in their name. So how does one become the other? They share a 0% in common le in letters. How? If you were to call someone called William, and then call them Zool, that would be- that would be a nickname that makes more sense than Bobby. Because at least the L is shared. So, I guess we're the weird ones, huh? Yeah. 
you're complicated, I guess. Oh! Hello, what is this? What is this? I'm going for that. It's a bit of a distraction, but I'll take it. I don't have much time before it disappears. Oh, it's somewhere kind of annoying. Nancy is Anne. But I guess the, that... That at least shares letters. When it's sharing letters, I have no problem with it. It's a bit of a stretch still, but at least... I don't know. saving so I don't get this robbed from me. I think I'm going to do one more lap of the mountain and then move on. I think from... I'll do that where the shields are and then go up. And then drop that way. And that, that should be it for now. And if I'm really desperate, I'll come back later. We need to move further north now. I want to go to Zora's Domain and go to the top of it again, because... I'm bothered that the one... Very early on in the playthrough, like, I was surprised that it wasn't there. Well, maybe it was, and I just did... It could be one of these things, or I just never went back. It's been two hours, so... How many have I found in two hours? Let's see. Uh... I found four in two hours, so... <laughs> Average it out to, uh... Yeah, a Korok every half hour, give or take. This is only going to get harder. As the numbers start dropping, it just means the likelihood of me being right with some of these spots is just... There's going to be more wrong than right. I mean, it, it happened before on the beach earlier. I picked up all these spots where I'm like, oh, there's a rock formation here. There's... There's like a, a part of the beach that has something that looks like an island. Nope, nothing there. So, yeah. Uh, one more higher. Uh. It also doesn't help that, um... The country where my parents are from. Oh, I mean, I guess I'm from there technically because I was born there, but... I didn't grow up there. They do nicknames as well, but theirs are, like, a bit more creative in that regard. Like, they're true nicknames. So, like, my uncle, for example, has the nickname of, uh, the word is Chumpa. 
and it literally means jacket in Spanish, and it's because my grandma once when he was going out with his friends ran after him saying, don't forget your jacket. So that was his nickname, and yeah, it's stuck. Oh, he embraced it. It wasn't like a bullying thing. My dad used to be called the Coyote, I'm not sure why. He explained it once, but I don't remember the exact re reasoning. to get your son in the dust. Daisy and Peggy is short for Margaret. What? <laughs> How? You know what? I take back everything I said about Australian nicknames. They are, they are logical, at least. They have some semblance of logic behind them. Sally is short for Sarah. How? How? What do you mean? What do you mean Sally is short for Sarah? They have the same number of letters. <laughs> How is it short? S-A-L-L-Y. Five letters. Sarah. S-A-R-A-H. Five letters. Sally. Two syllables. Sarah! Two syllables. <laughs> Fucking hell, Americans. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, okay. Australian nicknames make sense to me now. This has just been an eye-opener. At least they're founded in some semblance of what the person's name is. Chuck is short for Charles. That one I can accept because I've heard, and it's the CH. I've heard the Chuck one. That one, at least because it's, sh it's actually shorter, and it shares the CH. That, to me, seems fine. Even though I think, like, Charlie should be the shorter one. Penny for Penelope makes sense, because the pen. It's just the ones where they don't share any letters, or it's not making it shorter at all, it's just a completely different name. But do, you know, do you know how idiotic that sounds if you read it out loud? If you don't know this, it's just... Hello, my name is William, but you can call me Bob. Bobby. <laughs> Why do they call you Bobby? Oh, uh, because that's, that's short for William. Why not Will? That doesn't make sense. Bobby. Imagine you applied that logic to, say, fruits, you know? Like, the, the same logic right there as Sarah and Sally. It's like, this is, a, this is an apple, but you can call it a pear for short. What do you mean I can call it a pear for short? Dude, 
Blink, why? Why are you slipping? I'm getting- I'm getting- I'm getting more frustrated by reading these. Ted for Theodore makes sense, but for Edward, mm, I don't know. Ed would be more normal. And then Jack is for John or Jacob, which that one just makes no sense to me. If, I guess when it comes down to it, if push came to shove, if you were to tell me to write, like, a set of ten rules that apply when creating Australian nicknames, I'd be able to do it. Because it's kind of, it's almost like a standard. And there's generally the rules you follow when doing that. Can you do the same for American nicknames? I don't- I don't think you can. Some of these, how would they have come to the conclusion that, yes, this is- this is what we're gonna call you. As a shortened form. <laughs> Harry for Henry. Again, that's another one where it's the same number of letters. I thought Harry would be for Harold. I'm not sure what Henry would be. Henry's kind of short, but I guess you could use it for Henrietta, but then I don't know. It's mostly for older names. But, it's like John, for example. John is just John I. That's the, the Australian nickname. It's just, whilst at least it's, it's not shorter, it adds more, it's still a nickname, and I guess you can see- Oh yeah, it comes from John, you can see it clearly. It explains the Imperial system so much, it's like you're a fan of having arbitrary ways of coming up with nicknames for people. Of course you'd be fans of, like, units of measurement that have different ways of converting to one another and not a set standard. That makes sense. <laughs> Nelly is for Helen. What's the shortened form of pain? If I was to shorten pain to be a different word in American, what would it be? Because I need to express this in a shorter form, but I don't have one. Can you shorten pain for me? Probably not short under a nickname. It's probably these people have a lot of middle names and just prefer one of those. I don't know. Maybe. Ain is short for pain. Ain! Ain! A Korok. Just so I'm in pain. I'm in Ain! Ain! Ah, the end of anguish! Why am I doing that voice? <laughs> Say, Ain. Wait, so Ainsley Harriet, the cook, is Painsley Harriet. I mean, I'm not surprised there's one at the top of this. 
This is probably too far up. Uh, I think I should go just a little bit further and just drop down. Buffy is shot for Elizabeth. Get the fuck out. Are you telling me Buffy the Vampire Slayer is Elizabeth the Vampire Slayer? <laughs> what? I was clearly not ready for today. Oh, hold on. This might be it. Well, that's, uh, that's that one. How's it not melted yet? Thank you. Seven remain? Okay. I'm just looking. I mean, there's behind me, but I, I just want to. Okay, look, look directly ahead. Look directly ahead. Look directly ahead. Wow. Back to back. This is starting to look good. Uh... I mean, I guess I've been here, right? I'll drop- I'll still drop down there. Okay. I should do this slowly and just see if there's anything... ...that stands out. There's ice here, but that's not melt. That's not something that's meltable. But this was highly successful. Uh, go up and then drop down the other side now. Wait, so how many are we down to? Six? Six. Sick. Okay, I'm gonna drop off the side of the mountain and then... I guess start planning, um... Zora's Domain, which I don't think I'm gonna do much of. But, let's... At the very least, I'm dropping to the top of it one more time. I'd be done with this cold resist shit. <laughs> I guess I'm not because I have to go do the Yiga thing.
There are certain old names that you just don't see kids get anymore. It's like they've died out, like on the topic of older names. There's names that are older. Like, I feel like... And I'm sure there are people out there that exist with these names. I'm not trying to shit on the names, it's more just, you don't see them as often. Like, uh, Cornelius, for example, is one. I feel like Arthur, anytime I hear the word, Ar like a name Arthur, it's just associated with an older name. An older person. Yeah, they're not as common anymore, exactly. <laughs> Betty Lou. <laughs> yeah. There's a few accents that have disappeared as well. Like I was, I was listening. The I forgot this podcast. They were talking about American accents that have vanished, and one of them they were pointing to was. I think it was like the 30s or the 40s where it just started to disappear, but it's like the... Because it started getting associated with being stupid. But some people just had that accent and it wasn't because they were dumb. It was uh, like... Slightly! Like that accent, you know? Like, oit! Like that sort of thing. Or instead of girl, it's goyle. It just started getting associated with uh, not being intelligent, and so people didn't want that accent anymore. And they went out of the way to get rid of it, and it just- it, no one has that accent anymore. Because in, in the media it was portrayed that anyone that had that accent was an idiot, which wasn't the case in reality, but... It just- people that had that accent weren't being taken seriously, so they, they eventually got rid of it on their own. I don't know, I, I find shit like that in interesting. Just... Turn your brain off, just listen to, like, stories... ...about stuff that once existed or didn't exist, or... ...just how certain things came to be. It's just more useless information for my brain to retain and then... ...just come out in trivia. There's so many different accents in the US. I know, that's the... That's the thing that I just, I find strange is here. Australia is pretty big, but our accents do not vary nearly as much. And what's even more insane is, like, the UK. The amount of accent variety in the UK for how big it is is just insane. Like, we're talking city to city, it's going to be different. How does that happen? The southerners talk a lot slower than the north. You talk fast because you're always on the move. <laughs> Guess that makes sense. I wanted to throw like a jab like, are you always walking here? But then I didn't really, I couldn't bring myself to do the voice. Hey, I'm walking here. That was probably horrible, so I, I do apologize. So that's why they say that they're, they're walking here. It's because they're always on the move. Ah. That's more Brooklyn, gotcha. Oh, 
Wait a minute, I shouldn't be doing that. Okay. This area I was gonna look at? No, absolutely not. This is, uh... This is Lionel Town. It's not gold yet. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to start fighting these things if I want to fight a gold one. Not fighting it yet. Another Blood Moon? We just had one. In the city they walk or take the subways, it's faster to get around. Yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of the same here. In the city, don't. You can drive still, it's just most people don't. Parking in the city is a bitch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, here traffic's become worse in the outer suburbs, I feel, because they just haven't planned them properly. They've just put all these apartments and townhouses fucking everywhere, but then they don't upgrade the roads to account for the population boom. I mean, one of the, one of the reasons I moved to the city was just because it was, it was far away from work, but the other thing was initially it was taking me about an hour to get to work, which that's eh, you know, not ideal, but it wasn't the worst. And then, when the population boom happened in that area, and they made all these apartments, that hour turned into an hour and a half minimum, and at worst, like, two and a half hours one way. And I did the math, like, how much in a day I was spending traveling. And just, uh, like, as a percentage. All right, I'll hang on. Let me just focus on getting the claw. So it was something like if if you were to say an hour is the most you would travel before it starts getting a little bit ridiculous in terms of travel time. I was traveling anywhere between half an hour to an hour extra. So I said, all right, let's call it 45 minutes. And then I did the math where in any given year of work, I was spending two months worth of full-time work so I could go work somewhere full-time for two months that's the amount of time I was spending just traveling to work as an extra so when I did those numbers I was like nah this is this is not good so I moved to the city and now that remote work is a thing it's just even better but it, it just sucked it just felt like I got nothing out of my day I'd have to get up at like 5 30 and then I'd be home and it'd be 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And then weekend, it was pretty much catching up on shit that I just could not do during the week. Okay, uh... Down here. Not having to travel is just it's so good. Even even though before the pandemic, getting into the office from here was like half an hour at, at worst. But I could walk there in maybe an hour and 20. So if I wanted to get some exercise, sometimes I would just walk to work and it was nice. Started in December 2019, and then COVID hit in March. <laughs> Jeez. It's just one of those things where I'm just there's no there's no way I'd go back to like a an office type situation on a day to day thing. It'd be like if they want me to go into an office, it'd be like, listen, I'm coming once a week at most. Otherwise, I'm not really considering the job. Because, I mean, I've been working in a team and leading a team 
where we had to switch to remote work and the end result was we all were as productive and in some cases more productive. So it's just like, no, you can't convince me that the office is necessary now. No amount of, oh yeah, but you know, we need face to face and do meetings. No, you don't. You think you do. You don't. That's just someone who's... You know, honestly, what it comes from? Um, it comes from people that want to get away from their family more than anything else, as opposed to really wanting to go to the office. Because the people that were the ones that had the most hesitation about being completely remote were the ones that were like, you know, they like to get out of the house. That was their primary reason. And that is, that is a discipline more than like a, I guess, a requirement of an office. So it was a bit of control, it was a bit of control where, you know, they want control and supervision. But it's also a thing where people that romanticize the office, it's just because they don't like being at home. For whatever reason. Like maybe they just, they have kids and they genuinely want to not be around them and they can't focus. Or it could just be they just genuinely don't want to be at home, but... Yeah, I don't know. For me, it was just, oh, so much better. I got so much extra time in the day. And if I need to do small things, like just quickly put the laundry on so then that shit doesn't stack up on the weekend. You just, you can't, you can't, like, you can't do that if you're going to the office. And instead of having a long lunch break, I'll just eat my food and get back to work. But then I balance it with like, okay, I might take like five minutes to go do some, put some laundry on. And another five minutes to take it out. But for me, it's, you know, from a life perspective, it's better because when the weekend comes, I have less to do. Or when the evening comes, I just have to worry about dinner and that's it. There's no like, shit, stuff's piling up, I need to do this now. Or like very early in the morning. Yeah, I don't know. You save money on food, gas, clothes, great. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of positives about it. And it's one of those things that has always been protested by companies. Just like, nah, we don't want our employees doing that. And they always made up excuses. But then when they were forced to and, you know... They had no alternative. It's very quick how they made that shit work out. Very quick. Because they had to. Yeah, it was, it was kind of wild here. It was... You know, we, we were talking about it, um, at work. Because... <laughs> it was a case of just, oh, this thing is happening. Hmm, it seems like this thing is going to get closer to happening here. So we, we kind of laid down plans in the event that, you know, the worst case scenario happened. And the next week, that's pretty much what happened. It was just all of a sudden, nope, lockdowns are starting. Office is now shut down, like, just... Very quick. And then it was just a case of... I did not go back to the office for two years. Like, that's just what... That's just what became. It was... It's kind of wild.
It was sure by the time you got home and set up, they were going to say come back. Yeah, I mean, my first thoughts were when it started happening, it was, oh, uh, you know what, this will probably be like a couple of months. And then a couple of months passed and it was, it was tough. And we got into a period here because what happened here was the number of cases went up and they spiked pretty badly. Not as bad as America, but, you know, we were panicking over cases getting to over a hundred at one point. That was the number word that people were fearing. Because at that point they were saying, well, it could blow out like from that point. And just become this large thing that we can't manage anymore. And then we brought down the cases to zero and we were on zero cases for such a long time. And then suddenly out of nowhere, bam, just it exploded and locked down for five months straight. I spent half of that year, like, in lockdown. It's wild to think about now. But I still have this disconnect of, uh... Just how long it's been since I've, I last did something, or how long it's been since I went somewhere, or... In what year... Did a certain event happen, because... 2020, 2021, 2022 just feel like one year to me. In terms of memory. Like, this is probably the first year since the pandemic where it feels like, okay, this is its own year. It's its own thing. Um, okay, so there was nothing really extra here. Alright, let's stop for a minute and plan Zora's Domain. I mean, uh, no, you know what, let me go back. That spot seems a bit big. It's just here anyway. It's more for peace of mind. Food chip- oh, food shopping when you got home. Use Lysol to clean all the food in box, yeah. That- I, I think one of the things that I, I found funny, because we were in winter when it hit us, and so there was a panic and people were taking toilet papers, toilet paper off the shelves. Like, toilet paper was was in such low supply, you couldn't find it anywhere. And people were, you know, panicking because they couldn't find toilet paper. But it happened here first, L let me say that. This is the funny part, is just, I had American friends that were like, Oh, you fucking Aussies, you're going crazy over toilet paper. And I was like, just you wait, it's gonna happen to you too, and then it did. <laughs> Uh Yeah, there was a bunch of stuff that people just went insane p doing bulk purchases on. Toilet paper, for some reason, was just something. That everyone was like, nope, we have to buy that in bulk. For a period, I would have to go to the supermarket at 7 in the morning to see if they had toilet paper. And I just, I just, all I wanted was just a, a pack of six. That's it. I didn't want anything large, just, just something small to get me through the next, the next X or so weeks. Um. I already did this, but this is just to get the quest completed. It was really bad, yeah. But I think uh, one of the, one of the things that they're saying here that's a res um, I guess part of uh, COVID that they didn't really take into account is they found that school kids are behind where they should be. If you look at kids before the pandemic over the course of like that three year gap and where they should be in terms of you know learning more or less that um, kids within that region they're be they're behind quite a bit. <laughs> Like, they're not- they're not where they should be, which- th that sucks. For any- any kid that's, like, in that situation. Huh? 
Is this a waste of time? Really? I was just thinking the lower ground here and there was a shelf up ahead, and then there was this thing here. <laughs> what the? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to check this whole river. No, okay, it's not. It's not a big river. I'm gonna jump to the right and do the same thing. Okay. I was like, do I have to do this for this river? There might- there might be another one here, then. If this is a possibility. Okay, I'm gonna jump to the left this time. So I'm down to five now. I just wanted to get to, uh, Zora's Domain and jump to the top. And then I was gonna plan more that way, but... Okay, do we see anything? I guess just like the other one, we should be able to spot it out. I didn't see anything. Let me turn around quickly. Just the camera. Nope. I can't believe there was one there. Okay. Let me consume. I'll still go to that little dock that I saw. Time. Oh, it's not even 10 o'clock. This... Huh. I thought it was way later. Uh, more people back in the office there. Uh, it depends on the company. A lot of people have gone back, but most places have uh, kept remote work a thing be just because... Yeah, it's a way to attract talent for one. It's like, that's a work condition that a lot of people are looking for now. It just depends on the industry. But yeah, I mean, for us, uh, where I work, it's... Yeah, we're completely remote on the uh, development side of things. And design. But then the people that... Are in the other arm of the business, which does, like, more hardware stuff. Installments and that sort of thing. Um, they have to be in the office. Okay. No, so I'm not I'm not annoyed about the rain right now. You hope they keep it remote. Well, I guess that's the thing is people are using remote work as a way to attract people to a job now. 
And so even if the place you work for ultimately chooses back to go to the office, one way you can negotiate to stay remote is quite simply that, you know, based on your experience, talents, whatever, you can get a job where that is being offered as a incentive. Okay, I was wondering why I didn't do this thing. Still gonna run around it because I've had Koroks appear. On the, uh, ooh. On the areas where there's just enemies. It just occurred to me I didn't go... Okay, we're going that way. I marked a couple of spots here. We're going that way first. It's still correct, like it's on the side. But I was gonna go to just the top of it now, but I think I should go do that first. Because this is low ground, technically. Yeah, just watch over the next five years or so. Because certain industries will start doing the four-day work thing. Workday week thing. A lot of countries are already talking about it be becoming a thing. It's just this leftover from an older era that it doesn't it doesn't make sense for everything now. I've had better luck in this than I thought, but I, you know what? Ultimately, I, I, I kind of called it. I kind of called it. I, I said the area where I thought there would be the most would be Lanayru. And it looks like that is going to be the case. How many were on that mountain alone? Hang on. Oh, well, I guess I can't know because... But I want to say there was at least four on that mountain. So... This is a while away, but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna regret it if I don't go look, so Hup. 
I feel so full, but I, I think I need to get a drink soon. I had enchiladas with rice and, uh... I mean, it's kind of like a pico de gallo thing, but it's... It's like a Salvadorian version. Like, we call it chimol. But it's... I mean... Pico de Gallo is probably better known. It's the same thing. More or less. T. Yeah, maybe. That one you've heard of. Yeah, they're effectively the same thing. I think the difference is we have radish in ours and it's like a lemon juice and... Uh, Okay, there's, there's, a, there's a primary difference. I'm pretty sure the radish is the difference. It's diced tomato, radish, cilantro, onion, lemon juice, salt. You can use lime as well, but yeah. There's a lot of similarities. There's just things that are just slightly different every time. Did I make the tortilla set? No, but the flour did arrive today. It's just I, because for those you need to make pretty thin ones. I just I just wasn't I wasn't in the mood for messing up dinner today. <laughs> just finished a bit later, and yeah, I just wanted to eat and play games. But I do have the flour now. Plus, if I didn't use the ones that I bought already, they probably would go bad. So, use what I have. But it's there. At least I know how to cook. Yeah. I just don't like cleaning. <laughs> That's the downside. I like making things that take time and, you know, I can cook for people, but I just fucking hate cleaning. It just probably stems from my first job in fast food. I just had to clean and just getting d just all that shit clean quickly and then it getting dirty again. I don't know. It's just... You have a rule, whoever cooks doesn't have to clean. That's a good rule. The fuck? Oh, it's just... I was like, what is that? It's it's just a style, a style sleeping. It's okay. Daughter, daughter better learn to cook if she doesn't want to clean dishes. <laughs> Fair enough. It's a good incentive. Also teaches balance of responsibilities instead of having it be on one person. Which is not a good thing. I 
I know I should fight. I know I should fight. I know I, I know this. But I'm just honestly not not wanting to just yet. This is just me getting close enough to this pillar to rule it out from like the Korok hunt. Okay, this is close enough. Far enough, far enough. Run. Run. That should have that should have been close enough. I can fight it. I just don't want to. It's pretty safe that there's nothing around the Lionels. It's just I wanted to, whilst I was here, at least show that I, I did consider the two pillars. Okay, now I'm going to the top of Zora's domain now. I need to get this dragon, so... Let's get into position. a scale? What did I hit? I like this because it lets me ride this. Okay, just go to the closest point I have. Should just be able to get that from the beach. Hopefully it was a fang. It stinks that you can't hit it more than once. I think they should let you hit every body part at least once. Like it makes sense not to allow it to get two scales, but it'd be cool if you could get like a like a fang and a horn or a claw and a scale. I got a scale. That's unfortunate. I was trying to hit the mouth. It's okay. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I should probably save just in case these... These hit me. <laughs> it did this earlier. I had three groups of skeletons chasing me. I I hate I hate the lizard skeletons. Dude! I just <laughs> five minutes without enemies. How many enemies have been laid to waste across these lands that skeletons are popping up that much? Are we just walking on bones the whole time? Yeah, more bones, yeah, yeah. Challenge the player, yeah. Constant harassment. Does this have a waterfall? I forget. No, it's a dam. I can't, I can't climb that, so there's no way.
have to go the long way around because I can't climb anything. So, I mean, this area is probably the one that I don't think I'm going to look at that much. Because aside from the top of it, I can't really think where else I would want to look. I'll see if I can point out spots, but I know that one of the areas that is just a waste of time is um, the top part of the map. Because it's, it's just, there's a lot of enemies there. And I remember, ultimately, that part of the map just had nothing. So this is one of these ones where it's just past knowledge and I'm using that. So I think once I go to the- once I go to the top of this, I'm just- I- Unless I see something where it's like, oh no, that is- that is obvious. That is- That is dumb that I missed that. Um, I'm gonna go look at a color. And then... Go to the lab and get more arrows. I'll have a look at Goron, the Goron area, but that's another one where I feel like maybe I should just skip it, but I'll have a look and see if anything stands out. But I'm leaning towards... It's almost like I should just go to the castle after checking this one. Because... Uh, I guess there's like... There's still five left. If I'm right about this thing, then there would be four left. So, do I think there could be four inside the castle is, I guess, the question I'm asking myself now. I don't know, yeah, four, maybe not, but if it was something like three or two, I would believe that they would be in the castle. I would just go to the castle. Hmm, alright. I'm getting, I'm getting scared here because I think I might have to backtrack through some areas that I don't, I said I wasn't going to go back to, but I can't really pinpoint where these last ones would be. At least not yet. So, we'll study the map. And hopefully something will stand out. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I just, I get the feeling I might have to look at the... The desert one more time. Maybe I missed one. It's possible that I missed one in the desert. Well, I I don't I don't think so. But it, there's a pos there's a small possibility like that. If I go to the castle and I don't and say there's three still remaining, I'm going to go back to the desert. If there's, if there's still, say, three remaining, uh, I would have no choice, because then the areas that I haven't checked would be the desert and around here. It would be, like, this bottom corner of the map. The, the area that I am 100% confident there is nothing, it's here. It's, there's nothing here, and there's nothing directly above it. Like, I've gotten, I've gotten everything you can get for this pocket of the map here. This particular part here, this is a hundred percent confidence there is nothing there. The rest of it is just like, well, okay, now we're looking at areas where I'm gonna be desperate looking for spots. I'm I am I'm I'm still pretty sure of it. Like it's a 90% certainty. It's still very high. It's high enough for me to still ignore it. But if like I go through all these areas now and it's I've really gone through and uh, picked the parts where I thought were going to be something and there's nothing still, then I have to consider looking at the desert, even though I'd be sure that I, w I had done it. I should check it at that point. Oh shit, they're gold. 
This is this is this is gonna be scary because now on the way up they're going to be gold. I might have to eat a defense buff. No way. I, okay, I got a better way. Uh, uh, I got a better way to get there. I got a better way to get there. I'm going to the back of Zara's domain and going to Akala. I'm going up the waterfall. That's that's a better way to get there. So where am I going? I'm going... This one. Yep, this waterfall here. Climbing up this waterfall here, because then that leads me to that one, that's the tall one. Or it's... I'm pretty sure that's the tall one, and then you just jump across. Okay. Because there's golden lizards here, I'm not going through Zora's domain. That's just a bad idea. I can, I can look for stuff once I'm there, but for now, I'm going to, uh, go up the back way. I should have brought a pona, it's okay. I'll walk. I'm just gonna leave, like, there's gaps here. This would be the area that I'd be looking for in Elden, but I wanna rule out a Kala first. After Zora's Domain. Cause I don't, I don't, I think this area here is like another one where certainty that I've done it all, 80%. It's not as high as the desert, but it's, it's pretty high. Akala's like a, I would say, a bit less. It's just, mm, maybe. Maybe about the same. I think both of these areas are about an 80% certainty that I've done it. Shit, I sound like Fee <laughs> from Skyward Sword. Master, I have deduced that there is an 80% chance that you will not find anything here. I'm just making up these arbitrary percentages. The confidence level. Nickname, what her her Aussie nickname be? Uh, I don't know. Cause sometimes if the if the name is too short and it doesn't work, they go by something else. They'll go either a surname or uh, just some description. Like if the person's say tall or very very big, they'll call them tiny.
Oh, look who's in trouble again. I'm not helping this time. I almost feel like Fee would be the uh, the Aussie nickname already, like, because it's already short. It's two letters. Anything beyond that, and you just you're not really doing any. Yeah, like for Fiona. Probably should be looking at the map right now, but right now I'm just focused on. Oh, this is not good. That's a Lionel Bow. They have good bows in this area. the waterfall at the back. This might be a bit tedious to go through this this area. I mean, if I'm looking for Korok around here, which I probably will have to. But I'll worry about that later. Where? Where? I don't see anything. Ah. Let's not waste time. I think this one was just because I floated down. Because the way I got to the spot originally, I floated down, so it's possible that I was still at a pretty high height and I went across this area. Four more. Okay, temporarily equip. Where are you?
I may have to fight this Lionel just to get up the hill. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be fine. Maybe I'll find all four if, if I'm lucky. This has been pretty lucky. But I guess the suspicion was that Lanaru, this falls under Lanaru technically. Shit. I guess I have to fight it now, I got no choice. Oh fuck, I wasn't ready. I was trying to use stasis. It was a bit of an awkward angle. Um, if I can sneak by it, I'll sneak by it, but otherwise I'll, I'll fight. Okay, do have stasis on. I need a hundred more deaths. <laughs> For what? For 420? Less than 420. Well, just so I confirm he's wrong. Let's confirm he gets 420. So if I had 421, confirm he would be wrong. Yeah, I have it written down somewhere, but it was in the 500s. Direction is it in? It's from here. Where? There. We have to use stamina. I probably should have saved before I jumped, but I guess there, there's an auto save. Other than this, I don't know where else I would look in this area. I guess the other problem is that it is really, really tedious. Nothing. Okay. Where? Oh, 
Oh, this is going to be so tricky, though. Oh, saving. I knew it. I remember. I remembered this one. It's just, I guess I couldn't see it the first time. Okay. This is one that I, I just distinctly remember. Um, cool. Three more. Don't know about arrows. I think arrows were honestly good on. Oh, there's fleet seeds in here. I should get these. These are very good. to make more stamina food. <laughs> this is probably the best recipe. One of these, and then... One of these. Just completely restores all salmon, and then if I got the lucky cook, it makes it an even stronger one. Like, I don't care about the health aspect, it's just salmon restoring. There you go, that was a good cook. Okay. I think it's time for an intermission. But I'm gonna, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plan where to go. Okay, so here's the, here's the thing about this area. Even though there are large gaps, like there are more gaps. I should say. This, I think, is well covered. I think if I was to go look anywhere, it would it would be here. Just here. Because this, at least, there's a shelf, and here there's a shelf. But everything else... That looks more than covered to me. Like, even even here, that's covered. Because I know there's there's, like, skull bases and stuff there, so it's not there. That's- I think that's the only place I'm gonna check. So let me just stamp that now, but when I get back, I'll plan out- whoops. I'll plan out a color. But it- yeah, we'll see. Uh, put it there. That's the only spot I'm gonna check out here. Because I- I have a feeling it's just better to check here. And potentially here and just go to the castle now because there's not that many left. They're more likely to be in the castle, to be honest. Anyway, if you're watching later on YouTube, this is where I say bye YouTube, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Even though this was another one where I'm just walking around, but yeah, consider doing algorithm stuff if you enjoyed. Alright, see ya!